Hi, Kurt Rappencheck with National Parks Traveler. Today I am in Valles Caldera National Preserve in New Mexico, not too far from Santa Fe. Right now, today, I'm in a, a kind of a corner of the preserve, um, up Sulphur Creek, and as you can see, there's some fumaroles steaming around here, kind of like at Yellowstone. It smells like Yellowstone, a rich sulfur smell. But they used to have hot springs here, and it was actually kind of a, a resort-type oper operation where people would come up and uh, soak in the hot springs and you'd be able to shower and clean off and whatnot and uh, it's really a, a unique area that the, the park service is kind of restoring re, uh, reclaiming to a certain effect um, you can see there's some construction equipment here they're trying to cap some old geothermal wells um, that were in use in the old days and basically return it to to what its natural um, appearance looked like so I'm out here at Sulphur Springs. As I said, it's in a corner of Valles Caldera National Preserve on the southwestern side of the park. And I've talked Dave uh, Kruger from the Park Service to come out and join me and explain exactly what is going on here um, with this operation. I mean, some of the history, can you tell us about it? I can tell a little bit, sure. Um, back in the day, in the early 1900s, this was a sulfur mining operation. And so they mined out the sulfur rather quickly in a, a couple of years. <coughs> And then it's gone through various uh, transformations from them, being a health spa resort at some time, which you'll see some of the leftover buildings and effects on the landscape here. Uh, and then we recently acquired it in 2021 to be part of Vias Caldera National Preserve. We're still on a dormant volcano here in the middle of the Hemis Mountains. And Sulphur Springs is where we actually have surficial geothermal features uh, expressed to to show that there's still activity going on underneath and so yeah we've got pockets of fumaroles throughout here we've got a couple of mud pots and we've got cold and warm springs out here as well these are all very acidic hot springs so ph can get down as low as two which is you know getting into a car car battery acid range yeah well we're we're in the beginning stages of restoring this landscape. And so what we'd like to do is get rid of all of the, um, the old buildings and vehicles and debris that you see kind of scattered throughout this area. And then uh, recontour the landscape back to a more natural contour, let nature take over from there. And then uh, ideally we'd like to, to build uh, kind of a nice boardwalk system through here and interpret. We just got the funding, so we're doing the the environmental compliance work right now, and I believe in the spring is when we'll actually start removing a lot of the, you know, we'll start with all the buildings and old cars and that down there first, I believe. So yeah, we're hoping that we can at least get rid of a lot of this human debris. And 